it's Jalise here and I am back for another vlog episode called Stewarding Losses Part 2 2019. I did a Stewarding Losses video. If you haven't seen the first part, then I'll wait, pause, while you go and watch it so that you can maybe have some reference of what I'm talking about. But for this video, I'm going to be talking about some new losses since COVID-19 and some of the new takeaways that I have. Long story short, in December of last year, another opportunity just like that one, but in the same city that I now live in, came available to me. And because of the feedback that I got from the rejection, I got an acceptance this time because it prepared me. But since then, most of us have experienced a plethora of losses. Um, 2020 itself felt like an entire loss. Some spiritual community friends for no real reasons except we just kind of lost touch and ultimately just lost my sense of normal. This is what I learned this time. New losses in our life are kind of like climbing a mountain. Just at a Young Life camp, let's go, Sharp Talk Cove. Oh, and we were always thinking about this mountain we have to climb. Now, I'm not gonna lie like I'm not excited that we did not climb that mountain. Here are a few facts I know about climbing the mountain even though I didn't. Far away, it's very scary. And for me, I'm like animals, no thank you. It's a lot of unknown there. And that's very similar to us. When we experience a loss, if I lose my job, I don't know what's on the other side. In the midst of climbing, I think it can feel like you'll never finish. Like as you're looking up, it feels like you just haven't gone anywhere. Am I ever going to make it through this? No different for a loss, right? You're in the middle of it. I just lost and I'm not happy about it. Okay, let's recap this with new losses. The first thing I think that is important that I've learned is to stay grounded. You need to keep your feet on the ground or you will go flying down. If your feet aren't on the ground, your butt is. Because when we lose things, I think our minds can just kind of start to tell us you're going to lose everything. To stay planted or rooted in what is true and what is real. Um, chapter 1, verse 3. Person who does not walk in the way of the wicked, but delights in the Lord's instruction or the true. And is like a tree planted by the flowing streams. Bears fruit in its season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do will prosper. When we lose things, it'll prosper because we're rooted in what is true. Second and most important is to give yourself time to... Wow. I think we try to move on way too fast, especially with the loss of loved ones. Every moment we live past the loss is progress. Like every second counts. So count your seconds. I made it another second, another second. Then move up to minutes, then hours, then days, then weeks, then years that... I lived past it. No, I haven't forgotten. I'm living with it on. Then celebrating our victories. Every step you take up a mountain, I just said that. Every moment is progress. So let's celebrate the moments that we are making it. Remember it. There, were good, there was good there. I'm taking it with me. I remember it. There was bad there and I'm taking that with me. Lastly, identify your people. Who do you have that can do life with you moving forward? And for me, that those people are my people, my family has been the best support ever since COVID. Now you may feel like, hey, me and my family not close like that, or I ain't got nobody, but let's pause for a second and be grounded in the truth and realize that you got a coworker that's been inviting you to go out, so go out. You got a Bible study you used to go to that you quit, go back. Um, there may be yoga classes that they offer at the Y for free or for a price that you can afford, go. You never know who you will meet at places and how you can connect. Don't go up in there oversharing your whole life, you know what I'm saying? It's not good to be alone, trust me. Okay, those are the takeaways from new losses. This again has been Stewart and Losses Part 2. Adios from Jaleese Lynn Brown, the one-year-old wife. Yep. Celebrating victories. Love you guys. Bye.